Academy of Neurosurgical Physicians in Lauderhill, Florida, where neurosurgeon Dr. Anthony Hall has been advocating the wearing of face masks to combat the spread of the coronavirus. We see that the, the virus spreads easily and it can spread in pre-symptomatic and asymptomatic people. So, and it comes out of your mouth and your nose. If everyone masks up, then the large droplet spread and the small droplet spread that comes from your everyday talking and everyday walking around will be cut down. So doc, there's a sign outside that says no, you sell masks. Tell me about the masks you're selling. Okay, so these masks are handmade in Jamaica. Uh, this set is from one company, that set is from another. Uh, as you can see, they can you take them out? Let me see a couple of them. They come in multiple styles, patterns, reversible, okay, washable. A few of them have a slot that can allow a filter to be placed in because some people uh, like that. And we have some children's because what's happening is that a lot of times people are forgetting that uh, the kids with really small faces need protection too. Right, need a smaller mask. So these are children's sizes and they're at the same way reversible and washable. Since we'll be wearing masks for a few years to come, we might as well have them match our clothes. And we want to make it so that people don't think, well, I shouldn't wear the mask because it doesn't look nice. Fashion conscious, culturally conscious, masks for every style and size. Yes. Of course, since they are from Jamaica, we have in Jamaican colors as well, also reversible. And they come in different ways, like over the air loop, string tie, and like what I'm wearing, which is like top and bottom. Because different people like different styles of the mask and how to wear them in different ways. Beautiful. So as you can see, there are well over 100 designs. And we're selling them at an affordable price because we want people to wear them. $8 for adults, $7 for children. Um, this is also a green medicine office. So apart from your neurological surgery and apart from the uh, medical assistance you're giving to other doctors, uh, you also have CBD products here. Could you just briefly tell us what's going on here CBD-wise? Well, I re prefer to call it low THC because we... CBD is not the only cannabinoid we really talk about. We talk about CBG as well, CBN, CBC, but the primary one is of course CBD or cannabidiol. So it can be used in multiple ways. We have topicals, we have oils and tinctures, um, vaporizers, drinks, um, vitamins, and we have flour as well. So here we have uh, CBG in a flower format, which would be sold in a, a bag in where you can use it as a tea bag and drop it in your tea, or you can open the tea bag and use that flower as a tea as well. You have to still also drink the tea because it is fat soluble. And this allows a great control of CBG, CBN, and the less than 0.1% of THC. It has actually about 0% CBD in it, and this is being primarily used for pain disorders. Okay, that, that's new on the market. Yeah, this is relatively new in the market, um, developing across the world at this time, and um, you know, we can register you for your medical cannabis card in Florida, but you might find that you may not even need your medical cannabis card to buy THC if you can get CBG for your pain. Mm. And how would a patient go about getting his medical card if they came to your office? What do they need to do? They have to come to the office for a medical exam. So we do a medical exam, check their history, do a physical examination, register them with the state, 
and then they have to pay the state uh, annual fee. Basically, what we're trying to show people is that you do not need THC in order to treat many diseases and conditions, in particular pain, anxiety, sleep disorders, um, relaxation, mood disorders, um, and um, the, the choices are, are, are amazing because you can get a topical for before wash, you can get a topical for after bath, you can get um, bath bombs, um, you know, we have different things uh, are around the place. And uh, we're, we're conducting some clinical trials too on especially CBG, cannabigergol use in acute pain, chronic pain, and pain from sickle cell disease. So, and that's been very promising. Um, even way more powerful than the opiates that we are trying to avoid. So you have been prescribing medical cannabis for how many years now? Well, I think it's approaching six years now. And how has the success rate or the efficacy been of the treatment, in your opinion? I would say greater than 96%. Ooh. Very few patients who it's not worked on or not worked well. Um, and some people do have some side effects. But for about 96% of patients, they can find some sort of balance or some kind of products that they can use whether it be daytime, nighttime, or just, you know, to assist them with their other medications. And give us an idea of the kind of illnesses that you have treated with this kind of uh, therapy. With the medical cannabis mm -hmm. or with, 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 with Well, with both. Well, with the low THC, it's primarily pain, anxiety, mood disorders, inflammation, disc herniations, radiculopathy. Those are the most common ones in the low THC. With the medical cannabis using THC, oh, I forgot, in the low THC, we also treat a lot of epilepsy disorder. Um, uh, in the uh, regular medical cannabis, we were treating a lot of multiple sclerosis, pain, we were treating brain tumors, um, and um, movement disorders, post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, and uh, it, we're seeing a lot... Uh, there are also a lot of gastrointestinal disorders we treat, like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. We see quite a few of those patients as well. And you're also working with this project in Jamaica also, right? Yes. So we don't have as much choice of products in Jamaica as we have here, particularly on the low THC side, because in Jamaica we tend to have a lot more THC including or THC inclusive products but there it's also tumors, seizure disorders, gastrointestinal diseases, uh, some anxiety disorders and chronic pain. And you have an office in Kingston and you're working with some doctors there. Could you tell us about your office and the staff there and the treatment provided? Yeah, well as you know I'm primarily in Florida and Jamaica primarily is Dr. Tara Lee Ramsey and Dr. Jordan and both of them have been running the office there. They've been seeing patients um, you know, working through the COVID pandemic as well because we have reduced schedule right now. But they've been seeing patients there and uh, working with the patients in Kingston. And where is the office and what's the name of it? It is called Pure Jamaica Medical and it is at 1 Stanton Terrace Suite 7, Kingston 6.